Welcome back to So Bad It's Good, presented by Betches Media. Today, I am so excited because I have two of the stars of one of my favorite reality television series on right now. I rewatched the second season of this show for the second time this weekend. It's like comfort food. You've got the pounding music, the beautiful lighting, the drama, the homes. You got Cabo. You got potential romantic relationships happening. You have somebody feeding somebody Italian food with glass in it. It has everything that you possibly could want from a television series on Netflix. It's called Selling the OC. And today we have two of my favorite cast members, Alex Hall and Polly, Polly Brindle. Welcome to the show. Hey, hi. Thank you for having us. Um, you guys, are you, what's it like to be, uh, were you prepared for the success of selling the OC? I think we knew it was going to be a hit show, just given who our producers are and what their track record is. I think what we weren't prepared for was what came along with the success of the show, if you will. Yeah, I think... It's, you know, based on the the huge success of Selling Sunset, we knew it was going to be big. We knew that already we had a lot of eyes on us going in. But I don't think you really can prepare for what it's like. You can kind yeah. of think, oh, yeah, I'm going to get, you know, my social media following is going to go up. You know, people are going to be, you know, interested or whatever. But I don't think you can really prepare fully until you're in it. So... Well, and everybody kept saying too, like, once we actually started filming, and like, even like Jason and the producers, they were like <laughs> salivating. They're like, oh my God, this is going oh, to yeah. be, be so good. And we're living it, right? Like, this is our, you know, reality, if you will. And so we're going through the motions. We're, you know, everyone's getting it, you know, getting to know each other. And we're just like, what everybody else is saying about the show, we're getting to kind of see through their eyes, if you will. And so yeah. they've been spot on every time. Yeah, and we live it. And it's kind of weird to be like in the middle of filming, we're like, is this even interesting? Yeah. Like, oh, it this? is. It is so interesting. It's just our life. Yeah. It's so weird to like live it. And then, you know, obviously they do all of what they do and then it turns into this really yeah. entertaining show. And it's like, oh, I guess we are pretty fun. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> well, ladies no, have to deal... Well, you guys have to deal with something that you didn't have to deal with like 15 or 16 years ago in terms of reality television is you have all of these people, like you said, commenting on what they're seeing. They're making memes. They're throwing in their two cents. So like, even if you had your girlfriend, your best girlfriend saying, oh, I want you to hook up with that guy. That's one thing. But now you have thousands and potentially millions of people saying, I want you guys together. Or why did you kiss him? That's got to be really tough after you actually live that experience and have some distance on it. Yeah, it's wild to like re it's like you relive it right when it yeah. comes out. And it's instant, you know, it's instant and it's global, you know. That's the kind of mind fuck about it. It's yeah. kind of it it's a lot. And it's to your point, something that nobody really had to deal with, you know, 10, 15 years ago with where social media is at right now. Like everyone that watches a show that's been around for years, whatever it is, even if it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. They all have an opinion. You watch a show and you have an opinion, right? But the difference now is that the people who you have an opinion about are seeing what your fucking opinion is. And you're I like, I don't want to know what your opinion is. Like, <laughs> keep it to yourself. Like, that's my business. And so many people feel the need to share their opinions, whether good or bad. Obviously, the good yeah. ones are way better than the negative ones, but it's still <laughs> just, it takes some getting used to. And I think that that's also a way that a lot of us cast have bonded um you know not just through being you know throughout filming of the show and getting to know each other but also like trauma bonding if you will over over the what we get on social media and it's an experience that nobody can possibly understand unless they go through it themselves I've, i together, find that really yeah. sorry polly yeah. what like together as well you know so season one came out and that's when we really you know our kind of group or certain people in the office really did have a, and nothing will break that because yeah. it was such a kick in the head just the overwhelming nature of you know the yeah. good bad the you know everything being out there that even the girls you know the girls on selling sunset are really helpful and and like oh you can talk to us about it and jason is too but even them they don't really know 
it's got to be us. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. Those yeah. are the conversation I, I want to see. I want to see you talking to Jason about the impact of the show. I mean, those two brothers, it is wild how now they are the face of real estate on Netflix. And you guys are working for such a powerful company, even besides the show. How does this affect? Because, Polly, I was on your Instagram. You're selling places. Like, I see the ads up. I see the marketing. I see all of this <laughs> stuff. How does this help or hurt your actual, because you guys aren't actors. You guys look like movie actors, but you actually do this for a living. Living. Does this help or hurt? Uh, well, I actually, my journey on the show coincided with me actually getting my license. So I've not had experience of being a realtor without the show. I got hired by Jason when he was opening up his office down here, building out his team. And then a couple of months later, before I was still studying for my license, I found out about the show. So I don't have the experience that Alex has the of yeah. years at a different brokerage before. So she would be much better. Well, and I always tell Polly, I'm like, you don't know what it's really like out there. Like, your first experience is this. Yeah. And she's had phenomenal success. I mean, we, I, I'm like her mom, like, I'm always patting her on the back. And I'm like, I'm so proud of you. Like, you have no idea how. Like she's just, she knows how great she's doing, but she also came into it and she worked her little butt off and she's had so much success. And I'm just like, you don't know though. Like she only knows this. Yeah. I know. <laughs> um, but she, I'm like, but you don't know the, like the other side of the coin. Like this is all, she only knows it for, from the Oppenheim group and literally filming like that's yeah. been her, her experience with real estate, which is, I mean, I can't even imagine yeah i'm sat in the office and you know we have the bar we've got the gym we've got the pool table we've got all of this stuff and i'm like it's not every yeah, yeah the guys yeah go to caldwell realtors or something like they yeah. do not have what you guys don't they don't have a vault there you don't get to ring the bell uh, well, how annoying cubes and i'm like Ew, yeah yeah Why Wait. Are you <laughs> but can it's you really get crazy. any can you get any work done on those small metal tables? I just, they frustrate me every time I see them. They're so tiny that you guys have to all put your laptops on and talk in a big group. It just seems like that. I, I feel like my laptop would fall off all the time. Yeah. They're, big. They're huge. They're in huge. The, They're uh, honestly like to Polly's point when, like when I first started out in real estate, granted, you know, I absolutely loved my first spot where I landed and I was mentored by a phenomenal man. And we were in, cubicles our desks were literally the size of our laptops like those desks they're cumbersome and they're huge <laughs> and like unnecessarily large per person they're really big I, like, you I, you're, okay so you are pro those desks i'm just having like a, a weird reaction to it um Polly, what does scarper mean you've said scarper now three or four times in the second scene what does scarper mean I didn't even, it's funny actually watching back the show, like the English little things that I say without even saying it. No, you said early knowing. days, early day. It's early days. Very Love Island. It's early days. Yeah. Well, I am a true Brit, you know, uh, I've still got a lot of sayings, you know, in my back pocket that apparently come out, but Scarper is like runaway. Okay. Gotcha. Is there, That's is there a... Is there an English uh, term for door knocking? We hear about door knocking uh, every season now about just going up to random people's houses to try to garner opportunities. And I'm fascinated by the concept of door knocking because I just feel like, how are you getting past security to door knock? There's ways. There's, there's, there's ways to get through uh, the security on it in a gated community. In a, for sure. And also, you have to remember, like, where we are. We're not in Los Angeles. We're in beautiful, you know, I don't want to knock on wood, safe <laughs> orange county. Like, we're not, we don't have, like, a lot of instances where we're coming with, gar like, to a home and there's three pit bulls and Rottweilers and an armed guard. Like, <laughs> most, a lot of these beautiful, stunning homes are, you know, they're at ease and they're, yeah. you know, some of them will like get the fuck off my doorstep, but a lot of other people, you know, they're actually warm and welcoming and inviting. And it just depends on who's behind the door. Um, you have a new cast member that gets added to the season that had, has kind of like a Polly story where does not have their real estate license yet. Isn't that correct? That she did not have, she gets her real estate license by the very end. The other Alex. Uh, I don't think she's licensed yet. Is she? She's not even That's licensed yet. Okay, no. so she was being added on. It's like that—that that was the confusing thing is that we got to meet her mom. We got she's from Nashville. She's coming in, and she's another woman with the name of Alex. There are four Alexes in the office now. How much does that chap your hide, oh, Alex? 
Right. There's three. Okay, Jarvis. Okay. But I mean, that's that's a lot of Alex's still. I agree. Well, the, but the, the I, funny part is that actually not one of them goes by Alex. I'm the only one that actually goes by Alex. Um, Harper is called Allie. Allie. Jarvis is called Alexandra or Rachel, maybe. I don't know. And Rose, Rose is, she prefers to go by Alexandra or Rose. So there's only one Alex, to be fair. And a okay. lot of other people with the same full name. Yes, I agree. They're, we're, and we're they're all the calling you Hall this season. I was like, they're, they're yeah. now calling you Hall. I'm like, at least call her Alex if she's the first Alex. Yeah, yeah but also like I always <laughs> had nicknames like A-Hall and like people always. I, I call you A-Hall. Yeah, it's not. It's nothing. <laughs> that, it sounds like A-Hall, A-Hall. and I think it's yeah. funny. Yeah, <laughs> um, It is. That's what people say. Well, I'm not. I'm used to. <laughs> um, I think season three is potentially already filmed right now, but there are so many questions or a big one that is left at the end of season two. There is what I kind of perceive as a Ross Rachel romance from friends, the will they, won't they, there's a certain couple that I think a lot of people root for out there. And at the very end of this season, you guys, there is kind of waves happening in, in an actual you know, whirlpool at Polly's birthday party. Are you allowed to speak on at all what that relationship with Tyler is, where it's at right now? Because at the very end, you even say how concerned you are because you are such good friends. And that's such a gigantic leap to throw romance into that mix, even though I think a lot of us are wanting that and potential other of your cast members are pushing that notion on you. How hard has this been? Yeah, she leans over to Polly. How hard has this been for you to navigate something that seems very real and, and you know, you're a real person? Yeah, you know, a lot harder than I ever would have imagined, um, just in terms of the fact that it's never, I've never been in a situation like this where, you know, we've got a really, really good friend. And then obviously that evening in the hot tub, I was pretty surprised that he was saying all of that. Um, and you know, we're just navigating. Um, I, the hard part is, is that we filmed, you know, we're just finishing filming an entirely new season after season two. And again, you guys are going to get all of us. And there's a, there's a lot that goes on and you guys get a, a, a really, I feel like you definitely get a deeper, a deeper look to what Polly, goes how, on. Polly, how much? I mean, all that, but. Polly, how much money do I have to offer you to let me know exactly what she's referring to? Can you spill all of the secrets for us right now? Because I'll, you, I'll you know all the information. Substantial amount of money. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we? If you give me a lot of money, maybe I'll oh, tell you. Alex, I thought you were like, I thought you were a vault. I thought it, well, I'm happy to give either of you a lot of money because now this is keeping me up at night and I know you guys know the answers and we want to know. And that's the only problem with selling the OC season two is that the eight episodes just fly by and now we're going to have to wait an ungodly amount of time to know how this story continues. Um, Polly, speaking about that though. Too long. Hopefully not too long. I don't think it's going to be like a year, you no. know. I, but yeah, I do agree I really... with working on getting yeah. more episodes because it's honestly, and that's also, you know, the, you know, the problem, if you will, is because we film for so long and there's so much content and there's so many of us that a lot of it gets wiped out when it comes to yeah. the end and it doesn't make the cut. And it's like, that's also why people are like, wait, what? Or they're confused because it's all captured okay and we all have all of our individual stories that have happened uh, you know on camera but that didn't make it and so god willing we'll get more episodes in the next and seasons. more seasons and more seasons yeah i know this i mean this thing i can see going for a and like eight seasons at least it truly I think I found it so I, I love selling sunset I do but I found this so much uh it was just so watchable for me and uh Polly I, I wanted to ask you are we going to potentially see any more of your dating life on this show because I'll tell you season two I was not I thought I was hung over because I didn't know if I was hearing correctly that you actually potentially well you you, you might have you might have kissed Tyler at one point and I thought I was I didn't hear that right. And obviously it was just a party. You guys said it was just friends. I believe you. But do we get to see your dating life potentially a little bit more at any point? Yeah. I mean, that wasn't a dating situation at all. That no, was a no, drunken was... <laughs> two yes. friends. 
Um, but we left off, you know, it, it got brought up by other people when I don't think that was necessary at all. But, you know, um, I've been single for two and a half years. I started two new careers and wanted to focus on myself and um I've been doing that and it's only in the last few months that I've actually been open to meeting someone again and being vulnerable with somebody because I'm very much you know I, I'm all for you know the banter and I can do casual very easily but I'm kind of ready for something substantial in my life so I'm open to it, but okay, she's open. Currently, it's not. early days, though. It's early yes. days. We'll see what happens. Um, well, set up more than anybody I've ever. I mean, we're all like every time we're together. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I've got this guy. Do you think he's cute? Oh, I've got this guy. What about him? Do you think he's <laughs> like everyone loves her so much, and so we're always trying to like match make and put her with people. I'm open to it, though. Yeah, she is. Like, I am open to it, but I, I. I don't know whether I'm picky, but for me, I just need. It sounds like you might be picky. It sounds like you might be picky. I just need chemistry. I just need the chemistry, honestly. And, you know, if they're six foot six, that's great. (laughs) Oh, great. Um, Six foot six. Okay. That's super easy. Um, uh, you guys went to Cabo on se- you guys went to Cabo on season two. They make every I mean Cabo is a beautiful place. The OC is a beautiful place, but the filming on this makes everything just look so gorgeous. These houses that you go into um, is Cabo going to be coming back up? Would you want to sell real estate there? And what are the other places if you weren't selling an OC that you would actually be like this is my dream place to sell in right now? This is I've said this for the last decade that I've been selling homes in Orange County that there's no, for me, there's no better place. Like this is. Yeah, I don't want to sell anywhere the else. Creme de la creme. Look, we've got I mean, ocean and palm trees and. This is the and... best, but I will say, you know, with that being said, Cabo really is. It's so 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 impressive, and the architecture there. I would I would love to sell in Cabo. We've got an office there. I mean, Jason has. Jason and Brett have really done their part to set it up for us and make it, you know as easy as it could possibly be. And we've got a lot of turnover from from here in Orange County, LA area, going to Cabo. And it's just another one of those absolutely breathtaking places to sell real estate. Yeah, my I mean, ideal would be to do a lot of business from my clients here, buying their second, third homes in Cabo. I don't see myself spending listing. a lot of time in yeah. Cabo and actually like living there to work. Like I... I mean, here is, yeah, paradise. Yeah. So. Um, there is drama on this season, and there is a particular cast member. I mean, this Jarvis <laughs> is really coming at you, I think. there's. I mean, there's obviously a lot of drama, but are, is there any hope for uh, you and Jar- you, Alex, you and Jarvis to team up at any point we learn with reality television that you you can be really you know good friends one season you know and then team like be evil to each other the next is this something that that you could see you guys coming together at any point yeah i mean to be clear yeah you are right you can see good friendships and people turn and i think that it we for me it just weeds out the phony and the fake i mean i think what you see with you know, our core friend group is we're consistent. You know what I mean? Like we are able to get through the hard times. We tell each other how it is. We tell each other when we fuck yeah, up. Yeah, we can call each other out yeah. and it not be like brought up. Yeah. Well, you can weeks. tell that relationship when you watch. Like I can tell you guys are genuine friends and that you, you know, like you can tell those things when you watch the show. I'm just curious if those relationships if they can thaw out, if it gets even crazier and how you navigate that when you're actually working under the same roof. I was optimistic. I had the same mentality that you kind of had where I was like, you know, maybe some people are just, we're all misunderstood and we just need to get to know each other a little bit more. And, um, whether or not that's shown in season three, you know, we did, some of us did try to do that. And I think very quickly we realized you that. You are very open like that. You always give people the benefit of the doubt and like second and third chances. And I don't think I do. Yeah, I, know, I Holly, very much am like, no. Holly's like, you're out. Or even before you're in, you're out. She's very like, yeah, and she's got you, her, her, you know, her finger on the pulse. She, I feel like I'm very intuitive, but you're very naive. I can be a little night. Like if I'm intimate with somebody, like if I know somebody, I'm like, I, 
I'm intuitive. Like I know their energy and I can read them. But as far as like from a, Polly will know the second she meets somebody pretty much, like if it's going to be a, a flop or, a, you know, something with huge potential. And she's honestly tried and true. She's always been pretty spot on about pretty, everybody that she's made theory or theories I mean, about I, I just get it. i just know people i understand <laughs> like I just feel it and i'm like i know if someone's a bad egg or not and, that, and you can't you can't keep up appearances yeah. for, for that long true. and true colors come out and i'm like yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. to answer your question uh, a relationship with jarvis and i won't it, it won't it won't happen yeah. and, and polly no. you you agree with that you called that from the start polly right Oh yeah. No, I called that from the start and I actually did try. I called you actually when I, when I left and she was, it was nothing to do with filming. And I was like, Oh, this yeah. new girl is not giving good vibes. Like I tried to connect with Jarvis her, or Harper Jarvis. Oh. Um, Harper. and since I mean, then, you, do you mean Rachel, Rachel, you mean Rachel. Rachel. And since then it's just kind of like, you know, obviously you see that, I, you know we're never going to be close um she's not my kind of person and obviously you know watching season two she cannot keep my name out of her mouth she comments on my mental stability she says about my therapy like this girl is like saying you know everybody else is you know saying yeah. things that should be said but she age shames me she, you know, she calls me middle aged. She questions my. She says I'm mentally unstable. Like that isn't, you know, okay. That's I feel wild. Like yeah. Too, not to get to dive too deep, but yeah, at the end of the day, when you watch back season two, it's it's really almost difficult for me to watch, and I feel like Polly as well, because the whole time everybody is just talking shit about. What us we say and what we and do. we really don't talk shit about anybody like we're like in our own little world having fun and we might talk about a situation that ha like transpired but like we really don't care <laughs> about what anybody you else is doing rise above right uh onwards and upwards um the, the final question as we we wrap up here and thank you ladies so much for your time you truly are amazing and two of the favorite people to watch on this show um uh with this platform that you have right now and so many new people coming to your Instagrams, you know, like curious about you, what do you see the next five years for each of you that can involve the television show that can involve other dreams? The sky's the limit. What are your future dreams? I'm, I will sell real estate until I am physically, mentally incapable, incapable of doing so. Um, and I hope to eventually have, you know, agents working under me that I can mentor and I can train and also have other resources for agents all over the country and possibly all over the world to learn. I mean, I think when you know, you know how to do something really, really well, um, being able to teach other people and have them have the same success, you know, I, you would be so good at that. You are a and teacher. I, and I love to, I love teaching. I love helping. And yeah. also just that, you know, we've both had insane amounts of hurdles, which I think is quite inspiring, you know, when you, when you actually look at it from an outside perspective, you know, being a single mom and going through divorce and still having, you know, all of the blessings that I've had and I, I, I know how to do it. And so I would love to be able to share that with, with other people. What about you, Polly? Um, yeah, I always want to sell real estate. I don't think, you know, I've actually never knocked on a door yet and I have done over <laughs> I feel like good. I just get like I just get distracted. I just chat to them. See, this is the scene I want. Like, I want you guys. I want to see you door knock. I want to see you do your first door knock. I mean, yeah. so I always want to be selling real estate, but you know, I am still relatively new in this career. It's I, I've been doing it for two years, so you know, I, I'm not as kind of married to only doing that for the rest of my life. Um, uh, I always will do it, but I've been working behind the scenes on a really fun kind of side hustle, which I'm going to be bringing out later this year, hopefully. Um, okay. It's really fun. It's really It's very really, poly. It's really it's cute. Very so, poly. <laughs> doing that. And yeah, you know, I, well, I am a, a true Brit at heart. So I don't know, you know, I've, I've got kind of a 
couple of opportunities in the UK to maybe do some fun stuff. So, you know what we'd really love to do? We would really what? love to have a spin-off show of just the fun yeah. pieces of the cast, yeah. people who get along, <laughs> no drama. You can follow us around and watch all the cool would shit be we like do. Friends. Yeah, it would be like Friends, and that's I what would... we want. You'd be ready. Netflix, like green light like, this right now. I will watch the first eight episodes. I mean, this is this would be perfect to watch you guys go around on a girls' trip. You could be like Oprah Winfrey and her best friend Gail, just going from town to town having fun adventures. That's no, the thing. So uh Alex Hall, you you know, she's gonna eventually gonna have the Hall group. So watch out Oppenheim group. She's gonna have the Hall group. And Polly obviously is gonna be dating a six six gentleman in the next year. So uh I I we're <laughs> manifest. Right. Go watch season two of Selling the OC out now. All eight episodes. If you have not started, you are going to love it. It is beautifully shot, overpowering with the music, great storylines, great drama, a little bit of romance. Can't wait for season three. Alex, I hope you protect your heart. Hey, Polly, I hope you date the 6'6 guy, and I hope to talk to you ladies for season three. I, I will talk to you next time. Yeah.